Hey, everybody. This is a clip from the latest episode of The Randy Road Show. If you want the full episode, you can watch live on Free Speech TV, Dish Channel 9415, Direct TV 348, Sling, Roku, and Apple TV. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey! It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Road Show. Turn up your I want mind. you to listen to Senator Amy Klobuchar because she was very emotional. Uh, she was shaken up uh, by the crap that the Republicans were spewing about fast-tracking this uh, nominee. Because of the fact that the only other time that we have had a justice die this close to an election was when Abraham Lincoln, a wise, wise leader, was president. What did he do? He waited until after the election. What is unique in your words, Senator Cruz, about this situation? People are voting right now. Democracy is happening right now. And we in this room are supposed to be stewards of this democracy. What else is unique in your words about this situation? It is the precedent that was set just a few years ago by the very people sitting here, by the very leader who is still the leader of the Republican Party. He said this, Mitch McConnell, the American people should have a voice in the selection of their next Supreme Court justice. Therefore, this vacancy should not be filled until we have a new president. Those are the facts that you live with. But to me, none of those arguments even compare to what I just heard and what I must respond to. Our democracy, what's happening right now, what this president said yesterday, and Joe Biden has said he will abide by the results of this election. It is this president, President Trump, who refuses to commit to make sure there is a peaceful transfer of power after the election if he is not reelected. Instead, as he has done for months, just yesterday, he again worked to undermine confidence in our election. He has repeatedly told people, the citizens of this country, that it's not safe to vote by mail, that it is there's something wrong with it except for in Florida, where he <laughs> has voted by mail. This is what he says almost every single day. And to have the chairman of this committee lead this discussion on this solemn day, when tomorrow the first woman in the history of the nation will lie in state and raise the fact that, yes, this may end up in court. And then to hear you, Senator Cruz, talk about how this just because of some war game that you're talking about that I've never even heard about, that this can end up in court? Well, guess what? I will not concede that this is going to end up in court. You know why? Because the people are voting in droves right now. Yep. They are voting all over this country. Because President Trump is behind in states, in red states, that no one even thought he could be behind in. Right. Why? Because the people of this country are fighting back because they know what's on the line. Do I think this is a tragic death at this moment? Yes. It's tragic because we lost this woman who is an icon way ahead of her time. Someone who opened doors for women at a time when so many insisted on keeping them shut. Well, we are not keeping our democracy shut this year. Amazing. I, they, 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 they are uh, adamant about the impropriety uh, and the hypocrisy that the Republicans are spewing about, you know, uh, well, you know, the, the, the Democrats would do it. The Democrats would. No, they wouldn't. It's never happened. That's how you know the Democrats wouldn't rush through 40. Uh, it's 30. We're in the 30s, 37, 36 days until the election. People are voting now. People are voting in droves. People are so excited to vote. I got my ballot in the mail on Friday. I was so 
happy to see it. All I do is go outside when I walk my dog and talk to all my neighbors, all my neighbors about voting, 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 voting. All right. Uh, and and, and the, the, the Senate does have dizzying amounts of very dry procedures that they can use to slow walk this. There's not enough time, at, at least before the election, to get this woman confirmed. I just don't believe there is. Uh, you know, we have all kinds of you, a senator who rec- who get, gets recognized to speak can speak for 13 hours. They can speak and speak and speak. They can routinely object to, uh, you know, unanimous consent agreements. So if you have a, a unanimous consent agreement to recess or to adjourn or to approve the journal or to dispense with the morning hour, you know what the morning hour is? It's a two hour period required at the beginning of every legislative day that takes up a number of required work procedures that the Senate must go through. And so you can actually not approve moving on and and you can you can delay and delay and you can force them you can force them to repeat the morning two hours if the senate adjourns without a unanimous consent agreement that has to do with routine business at the beginning of a legislative day and they can't agree on the routine business at the beginning of the legislative day, a new legislative day starts. And they have to go through the next two hours doing that routine business that they couldn't do in the first two hours. See what I mean? There's a million ways. And of course you have to, you know, the quorum calls, uh, if the Democrats will not participate in creating a quorum, 51 senators, then all the Republican senators will have to be there, all of them, or at least most of them, except for two, right, because they have 53, and they're campaigning. Don't even agree to take a recess. Any senator can move to adjourn or to take a recess, but all of these things require unanimous consent. Don't even do it. You can raise these crazy points of order. What's a point of order? Okay, so I say... I, I want to make a point of order, and then, uh, you know, whoever's presiding over the Senate recognizes me. I have a procedural objection. The chair rules somebody else or me. I appeal it. I appeal it. Chair rules. Roll call vote. Okay, now all 100 senators have to be there, and they all have to vote. Just keep doing it. Keep asking, you know, keep objecting to procedural questions. Keep objecting. Keep appealing. Then keep asking for a roll call vote. It slows everything down. Then, of course, you know, if the Senate doesn't have the unanimous consent agreements, I move for cloture. Two days later, the Senate is required to vote on the cloture motion. You see what I, there's a million, and it's all dry, and it's all procedural, but it is there. It is there, it is there, it is there. There's another really good one. There are certain things that take precedent over a Supreme Court justice or any other thing, like budget resolutions. And if any senator stands up and says they want to consider the budget resolution and not the nomination, that could be done too.